the heart of the Pesach Haggadah is the telling, literally the Magid, of the story of the Exodus from Egypt. It emphasizes the ten plagues. Okay? It has basically a preface and an epilogue as well. Now, the preface opens up with um, basically an invitation for anybody who is in need to join at the uh, Pesach Seder. And it continues that we are still slaves in exile, but hopefully next year we will be free in Jerusalem. The Jewish people are exhorted to tell the story, and they, there's a light anecdote of how four Talmudic stages stayed up all night talking about the Exodus. And you also, it continues with the story of, or the, um, the parable of the four sons, where the wise son is basically considered wise because he includes himself among those who are obligated to tell the story of Esach, and the uh, wicked son is considered as wicked because he excludes himself from that obligation. It's so to speak saying that if a person is interested in the Seder, they're wise. If they're not, they are wicked. Bridging to the story itself, the exodus from Egypt is placed within a religious and historical context. It explains that, or it brings a quote, that the uh, fathers of our patriarch Abraham were idolaters, and now the um, Almighty has basically brought us near to him and brought us into his service. Also that Yaakov, his grandson, brought his family down to Egypt, basically to escape a famine. It also adds that it was not only during the story of Pesach that somebody wanted to kill all of the house of Israel. Rather, this happens in every generation, and the Holy One, who blessed be He, uh, rescues us from their hand. Now, the story of Pesach is told through basically an exploration of the text for um, the Dewey uh, Bikorim, when um, the uh, children of Israel come into the land of Israel and they set up the temple and they have their um, a harvest. This is every year. They're supposed to bring the first fruits to the temple and offer them on the altar and give them to the Kohen. And when they do that, they are supposed to read a prescribed text, which is basically... And Aramean was destroying my father, meaning Lovin. So he went down to Egypt when he was few in number. This is the, the 70 people from, uh, from Jacob who went down to Israel. And there he became a big and powerful nation. The Egyptians vilified us, afflicted us, gave us hard work. And we cry, cried out to Hashem, our God, and he heard our voice, and he saw our suffering, our distress, and our persecution. Then Hashem took us out of Egypt with a strong hand, outstretched armed, terrifically with signs and miracles. The Haggadah basically expands on these, the concepts in this paragraph, as well as bringing other biblical sources. The mention of the miracles becomes a springboard for embellishing the ten plagues. At times, the plagues are referred to as the finger of God. Therefore, you, one finger equals ten plagues. And then when the uh, children of Israel were on the um, Yam Suf, the Red Sea, it says that the, uh, the, the Egyptians saw when they were drowned, it was the hand of Hashem. Therefore, a hand has five fingers. 
So it was like there were 50 plagues on the Red Sea. Then what it, the Haggadah does is it brings a uh, verse from Psalms that uses five expressions of the, um, of the plagues, which is burning anger, wrath, condemnation, woe, in the horde of bearers of evil. It's five expressions, and as a result, this results in a 25-fold increase in the reckoning of the place, causing them to be really like 250. The epilogue then contains the poem Dayenu. Literally, it would have been enough. It's usually sang, and it lists the kindnesses that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has bestowed on the Jewish people, uh, starting with the exodus from Egypt and ending with the building of the temple. It says it continues, and the paragraph is devoted to each of the three symbols of Passover, matzah, a bitter vegetable, or radish, or uh, lettuce are common, and a shank bone uh, symbolizing the um, festive meal that was eaten in Jerusalem as part of the Pesach holiday. The very last section states that in all generations a man is obligated to see himself as if he personally left Egypt because it was not only our ancestors that the Holy One blessed be he, redeemed from Egypt, rather us as well. Okay. One can ask why the Haggadah tells the story of the Exodus through the prism of bringing first fruits to the temple. It would be simpler to relate the story as it occurs. The reason seems to be that through all of our meanderings and adventures, we have not truly a- arrived until we are fully established in the land of Israel and express our thanksgiving at the temple in Jerusalem. Thank you.